Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel with myself Isabella. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I thought we'd do something really fun and interesting and look at three different Russian Odettes. So today I thought we'd look at some of my favourite dancers and they're not all necessarily my favourite Odettes, but I thought we could study the differences between them and see which one you prefer. So we're going to be looking at Olga Smirnova, Osipova and Svetlana Zakharova. All of them very different in how they may approach the role and they've all got different bodies, different skills, different personalities. So let's start with Osipova and who's doing the Royal Ballet version and then we'll move on to Svetlana Zakharova and then Olga Smirnova. This is the first time I'm watching them as well, so I haven't watched these in advance. I've just downloaded them so we can get a nice raw reaction to them. So also quite strange, only um, one rond and almost like hitting the floor as she does the rond, which is different. Usually, you know, it's a double rond. Hmm. Very nice and controlled though, very nice and controlled. I think she could almost relax the wrists more, you know? I think uh, it, for me, it doesn't quite get to the final relaxed wrist position. And also she lets her neck go very far back, you know, out of just, you know, I suppose expression and how she really feels the movement. But I think it can slightly ruin the very pure classical line that is, you know, Necess well, most necessary when you do swan leg. No, that was nice, really sort of brushing her wing aside almost. Mm, that's a nice movement, She's how she's doing that. Nice, <laughs> I was gonna say, not bad. I mean, it's obviously very good. So far, so good. Um, before we move on to the others, I'll just share my thoughts on that. So like I said during, I think she sort of lets the neck go loads, but for me, it gets a bit too neck-like and you sort of lose that nice potential, you know, when the, when the head rests into the hand. Or even when you look up, you know, you sort of don't wanna go beyond uh, looking on the diagonal instead of letting the neck go a bit too much for me and I think there's a slight lack of um, softness and fluidity in the arms which potentially the other two ballerinas will have a bit better with um, the wrists and things letting the relaxation of the wrists happen but what's really nice with Osipova and I've always thought this with anything she does there's a lot of spontaneity to it and it almost looks like she's just come on and danced Odette now rather than you know rehearsing it for ages it looks very nice and spontaneous and she always gives something a bit more energy than say the others might so there's lots of sort of a, like that movement i really like like the brush of the wing as she goes around which adds some kind of strength to the role and some strength to the character because odette in this part of the ballet is often portrayed as you know a victim someone who's desperately hoping for something or whether it's you know right or wrong it possesses 
more strength to the role. And so, you know, it's nice to watch. On a technical level, it's interesting how she doesn't do the double rond. Now I'll have to do a bit more research that, I don't know if that's the Royal Ballet version, but I, I don't think it is. So I think that's interesting if she's choosing to do just a single rond, because I'm sure she's very capable of doing a double rond. So let's watch the others now. Let's watch um, Svetlana Zakharova. So a very well-known video of Svetlana Zakharova now. It's been around for a while. I have seen this one before. And apart from anything else, she's just so beautiful. So her face is just um, but unbelievably beautiful. So she really does look like an Odette princess. You know how people just know like when they're catered to a role. So, you know, you look at Roberto Bolle and you're like, oh, he is a prince or she is a total princess. Yeah, I mean, just so beautiful. Hmm. I think the arms in particular just now look just a little bit more thought out in terms of how they look, you know. When you compare to Osipova, the arms just look like, you know, they're a little bit more placed and thought about if they look the most elegant, you know? And the hands as well, like she's really thought about her hands. So really, really soft, soft wrists, you know? I think this is surprisingly difficult for people doing the lame ducks and staying on point. When you watch, you know, the show and the principal dancers, it doesn't actually look that bad, but I think it's actually quite difficult. But obviously by this point, anyone who's performing it has very solid technique. And obviously ending in that final position is just, you know, very, very impressive and very Svetlana Zakharova, like you look at her beautiful back and her wrists. Um, so that was really nice. And I think she really embodies the role of Odette. One thing I would say is because she is so, you know, flexible and hypermobile, it's it's very important, I think, on those seasons, for example, although she does it very well, like she really gets off the floor and, and splits her legs. I think it's important then to still re retain the softness, you know, after the season and then into the arabesque, a little bit softer. If I'm being, obviously I'm like really trying to be picky here, but um, they're all amazing. <laughs> Whereas I think from some other dancers I've watched, when they do the season section, it almost looks like they're already really tired and they barely leave the floor. And obviously with Osipova, we didn't see that because she's Osipova, she can jump really high anyway. But with Svetlana Zakharova as well, really nice um, seasons. But I think if you watch other versions, we'll look at Olga in a second, but I've watched many other dancers as well. And those seasons can always look like they're lagging. And then um, the arabesque also quite low, whereas this ara her arabesque is beautiful and her attitude still beautiful. But I think she could almost go too much the other way and, and lose the softness and almost look a little bit gymnastic if she's not careful so overall really nice again really embodied the character a bit more of a victim her legs and body are obviously extremely beautiful and her the softnesses of her wrists are really nice and for me that really completes the line of many of her movements and it really is clear that she's thought about how to place the wrists and you know the hands are really soft like they're very delicately being placed on top of each other even though i did very much enjoy natalia osipova's as well I prefer the vulnerability softness of Svetlana Zakharova. 
So let's watch Olga Smirnova now. And guys, this isn't like a right or wrong video or anything. This is literally my my perception of the performances. And so if you feel differently, of course, I would love to hear your opinion. Comment down below and let me know which one you prefer because we're all entitled to our opinions. You know, there's nothing, these are all amazing ballerinas. So let's watch Olga, who, by the way, was only a year above me at Vaganova. So I know Olga quite well. So it's really uh, interesting to watch her now. And obviously this is her performing at the Bolshoi. And I think even since joining Bolshoi, she slightly changed how she danced to be a little bit more Bolshoi. And I think even in an interview once, she said how she was sort of seeing how she can add something to the role that's a little bit more Bolshoi and then retaining her Vaganova essence as well, which is quite interesting. So let's watch her. Again, a very, very beautiful woman. I think she's how she's how she's doing the this seesaw section is my favorite so far Really nice. Um, really interesting. I was just trying to stay quiet throughout that so I could really analyse what she's doing. So like I said, I really enjoyed the, the middle section the most, the Sison section. I think she looked sort of in between Osipova and Zakharova, like really nice and light in the jumps, but also retained the, the softness and it wasn't too wacky or anything with the legs and arms. So that was really nice. I think the turns at the end, and I know, I know for a fact Olga has really struggled with lame ducks like sometimes she always seems to deliver it on the day but during rehearsals and you know backstage she it would be like the turn that she struggles with most it's because her legs are like really hyper extended so I think if she's having an off day it's like really hard for her to get back on the leg so the lame ducks looked a little bit off so it wasn't as like light and pulled up and almost ethereal looking as much as you want it to look you know a little bit like oh is she gonna stay on balance and so for example, you know, when you do this lame dance, you should really squeeze down to the fifth before you do the burrace and instead a slight step to the side, which made it look a little bit clumsier. And even though, you know, her arm shape is really soft, it was a little, at the beginning, not as soft, for example, on, on these uh, moments when you come down and you prepare the arm, you know. Tayam and soft. Ta -ta um nice and soft when you do that moment um yeah for me that's really important so yeah it wasn't as soft as i would it like it to be at the beginning it was a little bit almost looked like it was rushed you know and like she wasn't completely in the role um, but for me it got better as we went on to the seasons so there is one other ballerina that i would like to watch 
which is Uliana Lepakina, bonus ballerina, <laughs> one who's retired now, sadly, but I think she embodies the swan extremely well. Uh, I think she is basically renowned for being the swan. It's going to be hard to beat her, to be honest, because she's so incredibly beautiful in every little nuance she has, and it looks very easy to watch and like she's just completely within the role. So let's watch Lepakina now. See how the arms just a look a little bit more placed there. And just so just so fluid. It just looks very easy. Just so beautiful. just you know with swan leg arms the arms have to be you know behind behind your your head you know she has the most fluid arms let's see how she does this is very nice and again notice how she's not throwing her neck backwards you know as say Ossipova chose to do which I think just makes it look a little bit more elegant Yeah, just so beautiful. And I think what I really enjoy about Lepakina, apart from her beautiful arms, and it's also her slightly uh, possessed look. And it really does portray that sort of sense of there's a human princess trapped inside this one's body, you know? Like when she's doing the after the lame ducks, da -da 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 -da, and doing the berets around, it's almost like she's almost numb inside and just completely taking it in and the head stays almost almost still and she's not really focusing on anything as she goes around. And what's really interesting on a technical side is when the dancers do the lame ducks, notice how some go all the way down to flat. Ta -ta, ta -ta -ta -ta, ta -ta. And I think Olga Smirnova went all the way down to flat and it almost looks a little bit too much, like a little bit uh, too heavy almost. Whereas I think most of the other dancers were staying on the high demi point, which technically is not, you know, how you're taught to do a lame duck, but it looks nicer when you don't go so far down. So you stay higher on the demi point, but it's interesting how everybody does it differently. So for me, obviously, I think overall, if I was to choose one performance, it would obviously be Lepatkina. Obviously, Lepatkina has been doing that role for many, many years, but she has something very, very special about her. She's so pure, so classic, so beautiful. Her legs aren't ridiculously high. Uh, she doesn't jump ridiculously high. She doesn't do a million pirouettes, but she has something extremely special, like a quality that you're just totally transfixed by. And she really embodies Odette. And that's what's most important, is how you embody the role and how you can make something look so thought out. Like she's obviously thought about every single nuance there, every single way she holds her head and holds her arms, like really beautiful. Whereas the others for me are beautiful in some areas of the variation, but not all of them. And I think sometimes I even lose them during the solo, like I lose the essence of the role. I'd say Osipova really carries the role throughout the whole performance, but it's a different kind of energy. 
and it's not it's not an energy that I see matches Odette necessarily but again it's like a different grammar she's like a different kind of Odette whereas I prefer a softer Odette but it's still a very fantastic performance but again I think the neck thing slightly distorts her lines um, Svetlana Zakharova is beautiful but again she can even even though she's so stunning she can even look a little bit too gymnastic again making you slightly lose the essence of the role I think Olga is almost inexperienced in the role just yet so I think maybe she does it for a few more years she'll get much more comfortable with like the technical demands that she'll be able to relax more into the role and bring out more of her artistic side which I think is all there I mean as I know she doesn't look quite comfortable yet in the role and then yeah the back of this great <laughs> It's a shame she's retired now. But anyway, guys, what did you think? So obviously there's so many ballerinas out there and there's so many different opinions, and this is just mine. I think they're all fantastic. I would go to every single one of them's performances. Um, I love them all for different reasons. Specifically about Odette, those are my, my thoughts and my thoughts today. And again, thoughts change. But thank you so much for, for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Please like, please subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye for now.